people with access to relevant information are beginning to challenge any kind of authority. And if you want to succeed by appealing to the mood, you have to capture the emotional human being, not the rational one. The successful company of the new economy will evolve into an organizational tribe. To survive in a surplus society, we need a recipe. Martin Luther is dead. Non-Caucasian lesbian females. Those are the new customers. Those are the new people that we need working in our companies. Self-motivated man used to wake up every morning. Students challenging their teachers. Subordinates challenging their bosses. Citizens challenging their politicians. Patients challenging their doctors. Because as we start building these huge IT systems, our world becomes a little bit more transparent. It's a strip tease society. The innermost workings of a company is to create monopolies. That is what managers are paid for. It's not by chance, it's not by choice, has never been, will never be, because you see, it has always been, and will continue to be, by cash. I think it is happening, and it's it's happening happening all over, all over the We're leaving the neighbors behind us, the Boy Scouts behind us. We're leaving society, as we once knew it, behind us. We hire for attitude, and then we train for skills. It's our ability to combine and recombine things that will make a difference. Because most of the technologies, most of the raw materials, most of the knowledge is available on these increasingly efficient and increasingly global markets. I'm still waking up every morning waiting for the day when a company with these guys on the board is going to create an interesting product for a young, non-Swedish female. <laughs>